Today I'm going to try to make cheeseburgers and fries in my new wave Pro Plus air fryer, infrared oven, excuse me. So here's what we have. We have these Nolan Ryan beef patties, which are fully cooked but frozen. Crinkle cut fries. There's the lid, and I've moved it over to this counter, and I put the coffee pot over there. We're going to see if that works better. And I put foil, and we're going to see. We're going to see how these fries turn out. Okay, we have the lid on, and I'm not sure on this time thing. We do cook time, and it goes by minutes, not seconds. So I put. Let's do 12, which seems like a long time to me, but we'll see. There we go. Okay. There we go. 12 minutes. I'll come back in just a little bit and see how they're cooking. Hmm. Okay, here it is after, what did I do, 12 minutes? And, I mean, I guess it's hot, but it's not. The fries, they got a little brown. But yeah, definitely, I think I'm going to have to do it longer. Because yeah, I don't, that wasn't long enough. Alright, let's put the top on and try a little more time. Okay, let's see. Uh, cook time. Uh, let's do, uh, hell. I'm going to do 12 more minutes. But I may come and check. I'll keep an eye on it, but... Like I said, those Nolan Ryan burgers, they were frozen, but already cooked. And I actually got a great deal. Let me tell y'all about those Nolan Ryan burgers. They were at Kroger, and you get four in a pack. Here in Texas, Nolan Ryan is everything. He's really known for his, his meat. <laughs> and I mean that in a nice way. But they were regular $14 or $15, and apparently people aren't into buying frozen burgers for $14 so they had dropped them down to like I think I paid two fifty dollars or something like that it, it was really cheap for four burgers and uh, I've been putting them in the microwave and they're good so I'm hoping they'll be good in this alright I'm going to come back I'll check the burgers because they might get done sooner but I'm hoping those fries brown that would be awesome to have crunchy fries not uh, cooked in grease. Alright, we'll come back and see what happens. Okay, here they are after the, what did I do, an additional 12 minutes. I did, after like 4 minutes, I took the burgers off and I put some cheese on them. And I got everything over here ready. Now, that's looking better. I mean, it's got to be healthier. Because it's not <laughs> deep fried and grease and oil and all that stuff right it takes longer I think but I like it because you can just set it in there put the lid on and walk off you don't have to stand there it's not messy and like I said it has to be healthier because it's not all that grease all right I'm gonna get everything on a plate and we're gonna see what it looks like and here is my end result those cheeseburgers look freaking awesome and I tasted the fries, and they're really good. They're crispy, crunchy, moist in, in the middle. Everything you want from a fry. And I have a pitcher of ice water. And the cleanup. This is the best part. The cleanup will be just taking this piece of foil, throwing it away, taking a paper towel, and wiping underneath here. So, yeah, the cleanup is a lot easier than if I would have... Uh, used a pan to fry the burgers and then a pan to fry the fries and get grease everywhere so yeah i'm pleased i really like that new way i still have my drew barrymore air fryer i haven't even opened yet because i got this thing and i love it well there you go cheeseburgers and fries made in the new wave oven a lot less messy but thanks for watching and i'm over here in fort worth texas Enjoying my three days off and fixing to eat cheeseburgers. Bye!